We're gonna work on the trailer again today. Uh, we got brakes to put on it, all new brakes. Um, what had happened, the brakes weren't necessarily uh, wore out, but the previous owner uh, has three certs here and I greased it, over greased it basically, pushed all the grease through the bearings, through the seals, and the brakes were packed with grease. So I tried cleaning it out with brake clean and they just, the magnets just wouldn't work anymore. Um, they're just, everything was just packed with grease. I tried heating the, the bands and trying cooking the grease out of those and it just wasn't working. So I got all new brakes. So we'll go over how to put brakes on a trailer. It's pretty simple really. It's probably about the easiest brake job you can do. So let's work on that. Okay, there's a nut out here and there's a cotter pin. There's a cotter pin dug out of grease. Cotter pin pulled out of there. You can't get it straightened all the way out. Run your uh, into your pliers into the open loop of the cotter pin. Knock it out. Got a castle nut. So yeah, that's what I was talking about. You know, they've just way too much grease. That's all grease. See, there's a grease circ right here. And that's how you grease the bearings. But if you put too much grease through that, you just push it right through this seal. It still can't hold back pressure from a grease gun. And so the grease just ends up out here and all over everything. Believe it or not, this was the one brake that was still working somehow. Alright. So trailer brakes, you generally don't bother with uh, putting on new shoes. Just replace the entire assembly. It's actually a lot easier, quicker. And not much more expensive. You just get me back and plate and everything. Mm -hmm. 
magnet, new springs, new shoes, new vacuum plate. Everything with these nuts for touch. Does not matter positive or negative. So there's the old grease filled fabrics. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna get some diesel and clean those up and repack the bearings, and then I'll come back to putting the brakes back. Let's get you in here a little closer. In case you've never seen axles like this on trailers, so it's got this grease zerk, and then there's a port back here. So when you put your grease in, grease comes out back there. See that? I don't know what that is, pink Vaseline grease or something? I don't know. So, you can see that if you pull up to this thing with an air powered greaser or a battery powered greaser and you're just bang, you know, hammering on it, it's just, it's right back here, right at the seal. There's your seal rise right here, and you're just pour, pouring grease, and it's just gonna blow right past that lip seal and just get all over everything. That's why those brakes were so packed up with grease. So, you gotta be aware of what you're doing. So trailer brakes come in lefts and rights. Now, like I said, the simplest way to do trailer brakes is just the whole, just replace the whole works. So you've got They'll be labeled generally, so you know what's what. So right there, it says left hand. So that is, as you're looking down your trailer from the back, that's left, that's right. So we want right hand brakes, because we're doing the right hand side right now. And that is here. Get a hold of them. Right there. Right hand. Did you see it yet? <laughs> so the right hand, you can see the arm is over here. Left hand, the arm is over here. Because that has to be facing forward of the trailer. So, if you don't know how trailer brakes work, they're electric. And this is a magnet. So when you uh, push on the brakes on your vehicle that you're towing with, with your brake controller also, you have to have a brake controller. Some of them are installed in vehicles and some of them you have to install them. Uh, when you push on your brakes, it sends electrical current through these wires to this magnet. That, that makes that magnetizes this magnet, which then uh, attaches itself to the drum. So let me show you that. So that magnet rides here on this surface where it's clean, where you can tell us the old one was riding. So then once that magnetizes to the drum, uh, it pulls it. It'll pull that forward, and you see it's 
it, it makes the shoe contact the brake, the drum on the outside part, just like regular drum brakes. That's how electric trailer brakes work. Pretty simple. Been around like this for a long, long time. So let's get it installed. Like I said before, your wiring doesn't matter. Negative and positive. The magnet just needs electricity ran to it to work. Do you technically call it electricity when it's just 12 volts? power, DC electricity, doesn't sound right. So, that's all this diesel where I was cleaning the grease out of there. Okay, so everybody's got their opinions on how to set.
set bearings on trailers. I'll show you how I do it. So just hand tight. Make sure your brakes aren't dragging. And then we're going to put the tires in. Turn it. Until it stops. See that? That's too tight. Now, that sits bearing into its race. So, but you don't want to run it like that. That's going to burn them up. You've got a put a cotter pin in here, so you'll have to now you loosen the nut back so you can put the cotter pin in. So I'm gonna go back just far enough to where I can put a cotter pin, which is there. That's still too tight. So I'm gonna go back to the next spot on that castle nut that I can get a cotter pin in. That's too tight. I don't like that. I'm going to go one more. I'm going to try there. Now I'm happy with that. You don't get any play. You can hear it clunking at all. And it rolls nice and quiet and smooth. The only thing you can hear right there is the the drum, the brakes dragging just a little bit. That's how I do it. A lot of people will leave it that one spot tighter. That's fine. That's what you want to do. Alright. So there's that. Now you got your bearing preload. Now you can set your, your brake. Get down there. That's awkward enough. Okay. Okay. Pop out this little plug. Alright. You can do this with a straight screwdriver and then there and clickety clackety it, but I've got a tool for it. So the adjuster wheel. You can see the threads in there. I've always got to think about which way I have to go here. Yeah. So, you can hear the shoes dragging just a little bit. You want them to drag a little more than that. So we're going to click it a couple of times. There. That's how I like it. Just like that. They were pretty much adjusted, but and then you put your cap back in. This keeps some of the road crap out of your brakes. So that's, I was, this is the adjuster here. So what you were seeing was the back side of it. I was going through right here. 
and then as you click as you turn that wheel that's what the spring it keeps the shoes together and it holds this in place so as you turn this it unscrews that I guess you could say and it pushes your shoes out against your drum so then a lot of times to get the drums off you'll have these shoes maybe a little too tight or maybe you got a little lip on your drum so you got to get in there and spin it the other way tighten this back up and that will bring the shoes back in so you can get your drum off but that's what I was adjusting down there and that's how you do brakes on a trailer